what's up guys and you know something strange is happening yeah something is not right and you know what I'm referring to yeah it's when people in in your family steal your things that you actually own now personally this hap- this has happened to me before in the past but it doesn't really happen anymore since me and my mom share the same drinks and doesn't really care but anyways this is when people our uh, our family members or our people who have really bad parents just randomly steal their kids either drinks or stuff on purpose so they can actually just piss them off. It's like, really? Are you this... I mean, sharing is caring, but then yet you steal your kid's stuff. That's... That doesn't how... Personally, that's not how things work. Like, if the ki- if your kid actually bought the stuff, don't steal it from them. Like, seriously, don't just randomly steal their own shit whenever they... after they just bought it. Bought it with their own money and shit. Like, mem- like... Uh, let's see, we're trying to think. Um, you know how you go to the store and you want to buy something like a like a uh, bag of Doritos or toys and your parent says no. And if you have your own money, you can actually buy that. But sometimes the parents will probably just steal your money just to spend it on groceries. Like, God damn it. Don't steal your kid's stuff for crying out loud. Unless, unless you have permission, then you could take it. Jeez. Not to mention, in the past, in the early 2010s, I remember having my first, when I actually got the my first PS4, it was a family console, which by the way, I kind of prefer to actually have it as my own console instead of having it as a fa- just a family console, because personally, that can actually lead to drama, and, and can lead to all your siblings fighting over shit. But anyway, uh, when I, when that certain individual, which I'm not going to mention his name because of obvious reasons, um, bought the PS4 for uh, Christmas from December of 2015. I think it was a week before Christmas. I was excited playing War Combat X and ER games. For a good while, then around 2017, he decided to fucking give it to another person, which, and he actually stole the PS4 from the, from, basically that PS4 was actually stolen, like, bruh, shouldn't even do that shit, you know, and hell, it gets worse. After I bought my 2DS from GameStop a couple years ago, since I stopped playing my 2DS, a certain individual, which I'm not going to say names, stole it. All because, oh, the DS is more collectible now. They're getting more expensive. Like, bruh, just because they're collectible doesn't mean you sh- steal someone's stuff. Like, jeez. Drinks and other shit. And personally, that certain individual just drinks all the drinks and then just waste money on certain things just wow I even got yelled at because I got I high my drinks like bruh you drink all the drinks you just get mad over shit I don't know but yeah that's that's probably my story and I do remember seeing on Steve's live stream where some pair of a some 
family member of his, I'm not saying it's na- her name, but decided to just hide Steve's beers and sodas. Personally, that's a bad idea to do that shit to your own kid. Like, what has your kid done to you? Like, he's actually almost in his 30s, believe it or not. He's, like, almost there. And, like, and you're doing this to him. Wow. Honestly, parents like that are just nothing but disgraceful. They only need to deserve to have kids, to be quite honest, because you don't ever treat your kid like that. I mean, ever treat your, never treat your kid like that, because what did Steve do to you to piss you off? Like, if he actually bought that shit with his own money, that's his and not yours. Like, if my mom, let's say, for example, if my mom bought two Dr. Peppers and two Pepsis, she doesn't really mind me d- drinking her uh, Dr. Peppers. And I normally drink, drink the Pepsis, but sometimes I drink the uh, Dr. Peppers, too. And there you go. She, she doesn't even give a shit if I drink her Dr. Peppers. But, but for Steve's you-know-who decided to just have the audacity to steal Steve's beer and our shit is just very, very, very fucking disgusting. You should never, ever do this to your own kid. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up on this part here. So, if you guys have any uh, comments or questions on this uh, video, just let me know and I'll let Funny Guy take care of the rest. Hello guys, today I will do a rant on when things get stolen by other family members. Note, I won't say any names though. Let's begin. Now if you guys are asking, well funny guy, what do you mean by things getting stolen by other family members? Well, you know how other family members will say things like oh, you have to share with your siblings, sharing is caring. Well, they say things like that, yet, sometimes they would steal or hide your things on purpose. And they would let your siblings take your stuff scot-free without permission, but when you take your stuff back from your siblings, they get pissed. Wow. They are hypocrites for saying that. Like bro, if you think sharing is caring, then sharing should be fair for everyone in each side. On December 2nd, 2023, during the Wheat is Heat 96's live stream, right after Google Maps time, he was having technical difficulties. I was wondering what was happening, I waited. But the live chat told me that Steve's beer and soda got stolen. <laughs> yup, you heard that right. His beer and soda got stolen and hidden on purpose for no reason at all. Steve was shocked disappointed, and he was in a very bad mood. It caused him to not do anything for the rest of the night. I feel bad for the wheat as heat 96. I hope he solves the problem. And there are times where personal people would touch my Legos without permission. But when I say please don't touch my things, personal people would scold me and tell me to share. Bruh, I was already going to share my Legos, but all they have to do is ask for permission. There is no need to tell me to share. I already know how to. But yeah, thanks Dylan, aka, The Winter King, for having me on your collab rant. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's very easy to find. So yeah. Bye guys. Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Brick here in collaboration with Winter King and the Funny Guy 9000. Here I'm going to do my part of a rant on parents who like to take your stuff. Now, I've never had something like this happen to me, but I do remember when I got in trouble, I've got my stuff taken away. And that can suck because sometimes your parents are not too sure where they put certain things. you got to look for it yourself. Like, 
Sometimes you'll find it, but other times you don't know where they put your uh, stuff. And that's what happened recently with uh, Steve. He got his uh, stuff taken away, and he was told to look at the dumpster. I don't know if they probably think he has a bad alcohol dish or something, but he doesn't drink that much. He only drinks on the weekends and such like that. But thankfully, that has never happened to me. My parents would never take away my stuff, especially if I wasn't in, in trouble or something like that. But when I was in trouble, I did have my uh, stuff taken away. And sometimes I was able to find it. Sometimes I wasn't able to. But other times, like, I I, I, I lost certain things. I wasn't able to find it for a long time. And then I finally found certain things, like, a long time after that. It's takes like like months if not weeks or years or something like that but anyways don't take take people's like stuff away it's like it's like like what do they do uh do to you to get the to get the stuff taken away it's like if you're going to reorganize certain things at least let the let the person know what you did with their stuff because especially with what happened to steve it's like come on man but anyways that was about all for my uh, sh uh short rant the le uh the lesson to lear learn here is just don't take uh people's uh uh, th uh, th uh things away unless you got permission and let them know where the their stuff is. Anyways, that was about all for my uh my part of the rant. Thank you to Winter King uh and the Funny Guy Nine Thousand for this collab, and that's about all. I'm out.